Hello and welcome. I would like to use these next few minutes to introduce to you the Polylock, which is the first multinational sea wave enabled door lock which can fit in not only US standard cylinders but as well also oval cylinders as this one and the same mechanism which is in this one could also be used for magnetic door locks for instance to sea wave and wave enable them as well. The practical thing about this is that this lock, locking mechanism is uh, making it possible to sea wave enable your already installed lock case. So if you have a uh, Euro standard uh, cylinder like this one or you have a oval cylinder like that one in your lock case or you have a dead bolt or whatever locking mechanism you got you can use the same device to make it C-Wave enabled and make it possible for you to use access control on that particular door. To obtain the access or to lock the door you will use the pulley pad as we call it which is a numer numeric keypad um, with the 10 digits and you use that for locking and unlocking. To uh, unlock you uh, punch in your uh, pin number and of course lock unlock. This one could also be uh, used for uh, activating different scenarios or uh, arming or disarming your burglar alarm or whatever you have in your C-Wave network. The pulley pad and the pulley lock can be used with whatever gate gateway you got, whether it being a, a standard controller or the pulley control controller. So, uh, you are not hung up on one particular uh, provider. You could, via the internet, obtain, the, obtain access to your, uh, your user interface. That could be uh, via smartphones, like of course the iPhone or Android phone. It could also be, uh, be via the internet and the web interface where you can access it uh, on whichever PC or Mac, wherever you are in the world, uh, on the browser-based user interface. I would like to show you how to map the pulley lock on a existing door. Uh, I will use this one, the oval uh, cylinder. It is, of course, exactly the same if you got the Euro standard or you have a dead bolt or uh, whatever sort of cylinder or locking mechanism you got, but I will show it on this one. To start off with, we will remove the existing thumb turn and we will replace it with our pulley lock and thereby making this door fully automated with the C-Wave. We remove these ones. And here we have the existing thumb turn and we will remove the cylinder ring from the outside and then we have our pulley lock and on top we have this locking screw which we will remove like that and we get into the uh, electronics and the gearing and of course the battery. The battery is uh, lasting for approximately two to three years. We will now remove this pin and replace it with a bit longer pin. This one is the pin we want to uh, replace with a longer pin. We have that one right here. As you can see, it's a bit longer. This one can be uh, shortened 
in whichever length you need. You can get it in your local do-it-yourself market and um, it's easy to, uh, to, to get. So we just put this one back in where the short one was just before. Very, very standard. Putting the cylinder back like that and making everything fit. First of all, just initially. Like that. Making sure everything runs smoothly like that, and then we will put back on the shoulder ring, making sure it's not upside down like that. And then we have our pulley lock, and we will put that one back on as if it was a thumb turn and we have our a bit longer screws than before and we will put this back on making sure that it grabs the cylinder ring on the back side that could be a bit tricky but with a bit of work like that and the same over here like that and then we just screw this one back on and like that making sure and again everything runs as smoothly as possible. Yep. Then we put this casing back on. There you go. Like that. And the screw on the top. And now we have successfully mounted the pulley lock on an existing lock case. As you can see, it works exactly the same way as a regular thumb turn does, like that. And from the outside, there's no difference. You can see that we have this device on the back. Now we want to check if the mechanism works the way we want it. Open the door. Like that. You see, we open the door and the light turns on. All this is working by a C-Way mechanism. Now I would like to show you how to connect the pulley lock to a standard magnetic door lock. We take the lock mechanism and we just connect that to the standard connections which are coming out from the magnetic door lock. And the lock mechanism could be placed either in a box like the pulley pad or it could be placed on the door plate like this or it could be placed inside the door. The only thing you have to do to make it this standard lock case C-Wave enable is to connect the pulley lock mechanism to the standard connections like this and then you will be able to control your magnetic lock from a C-Wave network. To test it we punch in our pin number and unlock the door and we will see that the door unlocks and
then the lamp turns on. The unlocking mechanism will work for 15 seconds, then it locks again, as we see here. And you can no longer get access before you punch in the pin number once again. Thank you for watching. This was a small introduction on how to use the pulley lock together with your existing lock case and uh, how to mount it. We will be uploading as soon as possible more videos on how to set up the pulley lock on your web interface or your smartphone. Uh, of course showing you how to put, put in new pin numbers uh, for the uh, lock and the pulley pad. So uh, follow us at uh, pulleycontrol.com and we will give you more info on how to get the pulley lock and where it's available. Thank you very much.